What's up, world? It's Emmanuel Altenor for Basketball Bicker. Now, Kevin Durant broke the internet and became a big topic at every 4th of July cookout when he announced his free agency decision. Durant revealed via the Players' Tribune that he'd be joining the Golden State Warriors. So why would KD head to the Bay? Simply because he can. With this move, Durant has become public enemy number one and the Golden State Warriors the most hated franchise in the NBA. We've already seen videos of fans burning his jersey. The critics say a player of KD's caliber shouldn't join up with a team that won a historic 73 games and was one win away from back-to-back -back titles, especially after that same team eliminated him in a tough seven-game series. I'm not mad at KD though. We stress so much the importance of winning championships. Durant simply put himself in the absolute best position to win a championship or two or maybe even four. The Warriors blowing a 3-1 lead and losing the NBA Finals had to have made his decision to join them much easier. Now Durant's move has been compared to LeBron joining the Heat in a negative light, but this truly symbolizes players' freedom and confidence in moving as they please and not following traditional unwritten rules. Just as LeBron James did on July 8, 2010, Kevin Durant has proclaimed his independence, fittingly, on the day our nation declared its.